Hey, this is Carrie with Gulf Bridge Homes and Lifestyle here for your two minute quick real estate question and answer. So the question today is what should I expect to pay in commission when selling a house to a realtor? So generally the person listing the house is going to pay the real estate commission. So that's going to be anywhere from five to eight percent generally. And then that realtor splits or gives a percentage of that to the buyer's agent. So that compensates the buyer's agent when they bring people in and sell. There's a lot of work on that buyer's agent side. They are the ones that make the contract. They're the ones that do the inspections. They do all of that. So basically, um, you know, just because you might have somebody that gives you a lower commission, you really want to, or charge you a lower commission for listing your house, you really want to make sure that, that they're they're marketing your house. They're not just listing it and, and expecting that to sell. There's a lot of things that they can do on the side um, and, and that it will help the house sell and get maximum dollar for it. So, you know, really, really make sure that, that you're not taken there's a lot of value in having a realtor there you know they can take it on agent tours they can make sure the house is ready they can help you through the entire process they help you through the contract acceptance they make sure everything's right they they get you to the table to sell the house that is a big deal um it, you know i think sometimes there's a misconception that 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 is too much money or whatever, but then that commission that, that, that say I sell, I list your house, just say that. And then a buyer comes with a buyer's agent. So we split that commission and then I split my portion with my broker and that person splits their portion with their broker. So, you know, that pays I'm splitting mine with my broker. I'm splitting that with the buyer's agent and that buyer's agent splitting it with. So, that's here to say that that if you're looking for a house to buy, you can get your own agent and get them to show you around. It's really better than, even though I, if I'm listing a house, I'd like to sell both sides of it. I'd like to have the buyer and the seller. But you can have someone on your side showing you houses and making sure that they represent you and aren't just re representing the transaction if you're buying a house. So, so the seller pays the commission if you get to the buyer's agent. So there's a buyer's agent. You're not a buyer is not paying anything to a realtor. So it's strictly on the sale side, but there's a lot of benefit to having a realtor and, and just, there's been so many transactions that appraisal comes back low inspections come back bad. There's so much in it and there's so much negotiation usually in, in buying a house. It's so nice to make sure you get somebody to take you to the table. So definitely keep that in mind. That's it. I hope you, I answered your question. Uh, if that's a question you, if you have any more questions, post them below and I'll, I'll be glad to answer them. Thanks.